lesson, we will keep it simple and let's make a tropical island with colorful palm tree. So Ali, are you ready? Yeah. Perfect. So this is Ali's side and this is my side. So let's draw a horizon line. Ali, do you know what is horizon line? The, the horizon line separates the land and the sky. Fantastic. Just to create a little bit illusion, we will create few mountains which will be a little bit rounded curve. Instead of giving a straight triangle, it will be better if you give a slight round and bring it to the side. So like this? Yeah, this looks really nice. Fantastic. Now we are done with the horizon line, we are done with our mountain. Let's start creating the water like a sea. So we will make some wavy line to make the water part. And this area can be our sand. So Ali, can you do that? Fantastic. Now this is the time to make our palm tree. Palm tree is a very simple tree. If you follow the steps, you can start with a curved line on the ground. Now we need to take the line as a diagonal line. So we will start from here and I'm going to give a point, just a dot over here. So this will help me to connect my diagonal line to the point. Excellent. Let's do the other side with the same way. We will bring it and connect to the dot. Wonderful. This looks really nice. Now to create the leaves, we will first get the guideline. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Excellent. We try to keep some space in between. So when we are making the leaves, they will not get too close to each other. Another one and another one. Another one and another one. Lovely. Now it's time to make the leaves. So we will use our zigzag wavy lines. One, two, three. And you can just bring it on the sea. Try to leave some space. Fantastic. Now the next side. The same way you will be doing the one going on top, but don't forget to keep the same direction and giving the curve. You can also do the overlapping technique if you feel that you don't have space. So over here you can see I just bring this leaf behind the first one. So I will be having some space to color and it will give you more realistic look. Excellent. The last one and for the last one again I will try to use it from the side. I'm almost giving more than a one finger space before I start my leaf. You can take it to the right side or left side. Wow I'm so impressed. Lovely work Ali. I think Ali you can add one more leaf over here because you have enough space. Just to get a little bit more tropical feeling, we can add some flowers into it. We can also add some leaves. And just a little wavy line to show the sand effect.
Once we complete our sketching, we are just taking the marker and outlining it. Outline means you can go over your pencil line and erase all the pencil line before you start coloring or painting. Now we will start with our background with oil pastels and Ali has used cool colors and I'm going with the warm colors. We will be using the side of our oil pastel and just using with the side we are giving a texture in the sky. I'm not completely covering the sky. There is a lot of white spaces which will be filled with our watercolor. Now where is but Can green? we first try to add a little bit more towards the sky? Yeah. I think simple brown color for my mountain. Now here I have these three shades of green. So I will be making a pattern of three different colors. So let's start with our sea, ocean, and I am definitely going to get this blue color, break it into half and use the side of it. And move your direction horizontally. So right to left, horizontal. Try not to be diagonal. Keep only horizontal position. And then I'm going with a little bit dark color and adding some horizontal wavy lines. So here we are done with our oil pastel. Now what next? Watercolors! Let's start. And do you know Ali, these watercolor are the one which is completely dry. And you know the name is watercolor, that means it needs lots and lots of water. water. So before we start painting, we always add drops of water to make it completely wet and this will help the paint to activate and give us a nice and bright vibrant colors. Hmm. So we will roll one, two, three. I hope you can see that how nice and wet it is. And now this is the time to start painting on our oil pastel. Wait, hmm. one, two, three. Go. I hope you can see that rhymes. Oh, that really, that's very nice. Let's start with your color and let's see who will finish it fast. <gasps> no, 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 we will not do the race because we really want to enjoy our painting process. Yeah. Now you can see Ali that it's not mixing with oil pastel, right? So only the areas which does not have any oil pastel, they are the one which is getting painted. So do not, we will not press our brush on the oil pastel. We will go very gentle, otherwise all the oil will come on our brush. Oh no, that'll be a disaster. And it will be hard for us to clean the brush afterwards. Yeah. What are we going to do with all these puddles? Oh, we are going to take some tissue and we are going to just dab some excess water. So you can take a tissue and you can just dab it. Just with a gentle pressure. Do not press too hard or do not smudge. And you just remove it. So after we finish with our art, we have used oil pastel black to do the outlining. Ali is still working on his outlining. And then we are going to do some splatters and some decoration with glitter. Now I'm going to use some white acrylic paint to add some ripples in my water. I think before yeah. splatters, I will add some glitter. And for the glitter, I want to make a nice sparkles in my sky. Now, after the glitter, if you want, you can do some splatters. So, we have a nice acrylic paint mixed with lots of water. And I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to dab it on top of it. So, Ali, how do you feel about today's lesson? It was good. So, we learned how to use oil pastel and watercolor together. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment below so we can read your comments. And you can also use hashtag follow us on Instagram so we will be able to see your work. 